Ever wondered how your eating habits might be affecting your liver health? From all the burgers to the donuts, it's easy to forget what this does to our insides. Today we're taking a deep dive into liver health, specifically how certain foods can cause harm. This video will uncover 10 foods that, if consumed excessively, could potentially be damaging this vital organ. So, let's get down to brass tacks. Ready to discover what these 10 foods are? Great! Prepare to be enlightened. First on the list, we have alcohol. You might be thinking, well, isn't that obvious? But let's delve deeper into why it's such a concern. When we consume alcohol, it's the liver's job to break it down and remove it from the blood. But this process can generate harmful byproducts that damage liver cells, promote inflammation, and weaken the body's natural defenses. Over time, this can lead to chronic liver disease or cirrhosis, a scarring of the liver that severely hampers its ability to function. And let's not forget about alcoholic hepatitis, a condition characterized by an inflamed liver. So while an occasional glass of wine or beer isn't likely to cause harm, excessive drinking can have serious consequences. Remember, your liver is a vital organ, and like any high-performance machine, it requires proper care and maintenance. So moderation is key when it comes to alcohol. Next up, we have sugary foods. Now, who doesn't have a sweet tooth? Unfortunately, our love for sweets could be a love that's a little too strong, particularly for our liver. You see, the liver's job is to convert sugar into fat. So when you indulge in that extra piece of cake or can of soda, your liver goes into overdrive, producing more fat than it can handle. This excessive fat can accumulate in the liver, leading to what's known as fatty liver disease. It's like a traffic jam in there, folks. Over time, this can cause inflammation and scarring, seriously affecting the liver's ability to function properly. The takeaway here is not to cut out sugar completely. We all need a little sweetness in our lives. But moderation is key. Swap that soda for water or that candy bar for a piece of fruit. Remember, it's always best to keep sugary treats as just that, treats. A third on our list is fried and fast foods. Now, who doesn't love a good burger or a crispy golden french fry? However, as mouth-watering as these foods may be, they could spell trouble for your liver. You see, fried and fast foods tend to be high in unhealthy fats and calories. Over time, they can lead to weight gain and obesity. But the bad news doesn't stop there. Obesity is a major risk factor for a condition called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This condition occurs when fat builds up in the liver, causing inflammation and damage. It's a silent killer that affects millions worldwide and can lead to serious complications like cirrhosis and liver failure. In addition, these foods are often low in fiber and other nutrients your liver needs to function properly. So while they might satisfy your taste buds, they're certainly not doing your liver any favors. So it's a good idea to limit your intake of these foods for the sake of your liver. Fourth, we have to mention red meat. Now don't get me wrong, a juicy steak or a succulent burger can be a delicious treat, but moderation is key, folks. Red meat is high in saturated fats, which, when consumed in excess, can lead to liver damage. It's a sneaky culprit because, while it might not immediately strike you as harmful over time, it can contribute to a condition known as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This condition often goes unnoticed until it's advanced, causing serious damage to your liver. But don't panic. You don't have to completely cut out red meat from your diet. It's all about balance. And there are plenty of healthier protein alternatives out there. Consider lean meats such as chicken or turkey, or if you're feeling adventurous, why not try plant-based proteins like lentils, chickpeas, or tofu, so consider opting for lean meats or plant-based proteins instead. Next on our list is salt. Now, salt isn't inherently bad. In fact, it's vital for our bodies. But too much can spell trouble. Excessive salt can cause fluid buildup in the liver, a condition known as ascites. This isn't just uncomfortable. It can lead to liver disease and even failure. And remember, salt isn't just in your shaker. It's hidden in processed foods, canned goods, even some beverages. So try to keep a check on your salt intake. Processed foods, white bread, soda, certain medications, and shellfish. Starting with processed foods, these are often packed with additives, artificial flavors, and trans fats. They can overload your liver with toxins, leading to inflammation and liver disease. 
So next time you're at the grocery store, try to avoid those prepackaged meals and opt for fresh whole foods instead. Next up, white bread. Though it might be a staple in many households, it's not the best for your liver. White bread is high in refined carbohydrates, which can lead to insulin resistance, a condition that stresses the liver. Consider switching to whole grain bread, which offers more fiber and less sugar. Now let's talk about soda. It's no secret that this sweet drink is not the healthiest choice. High in sugar and empty calories, soda can lead to obesity, a major risk factor for liver disease. Drinking water, tea, or fresh fruit juice can be a much healthier option. Moving on to certain medications, over-the-counter drugs like acetaminophen, also known as Tylenol, can harm your liver if taken in large amounts or over a long period. It's always important to follow the recommended dosage and consult with your doctor if you have any concerns. Lastly, we have shellfish. While it can be a healthy source of protein, some shellfish like oysters and clams can carry a bacteria called Vibrio vulnificus, which can cause severe liver damage, especially in people with existing liver disease. So if you enjoy seafood, make sure it's well cooked and always from a reliable source. Remember, moderation and a balanced diet are key. Each of these foods and substances in moderation won't necessarily harm your liver, but overconsumption or in combination with other risk factors, they can contribute to liver damage. So as always, it's about balance. Enjoy a variety of foods, but make sure to include plenty of fresh fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains in your diet. The health of your liver and your overall well-being depends on it. So there you have it, the 10 foods that can potentially harm your liver. As we've navigated through the culinary minefield, we've highlighted some common culprits that could be lurking in your everyday meals, doing a number on your liver. Just to refresh your memory, we started with the first food, alcohol. It's no secret that excessive alcohol consumption can lead to liver damage over time. Next, we delved into the world of processed foods where trans fats hide in plain sight. These artificial fats are often found in packaged snacks and fast food items and can contribute to liver damage when consumed in large amounts. Our third food was fried and fatty foods, which can increase the risk of fatty liver disease. Then we discussed high fructose corn syrup, a sweetener that's often added to sodas and sweet treats. Consuming too much of this can overwork and damage the liver. The fifth food we touched on was white bread, pasta, and rice. These refined carbohydrates can cause a spike in blood sugar levels and may lead to fatty liver disease. In the last part of our list, we blitzed through another five foods. Red meat, salt, shellfish, energy drinks, and undercooked shellfish. These foods, while they can be part of a balanced diet, can cause harm to your liver when consumed excessively or improperly prepared. It's crucial to remember that moderation is key. Our bodies are intricate machines and the liver plays a vital role in keeping everything running smoothly. It's not about completely eliminating these foods from your diet, but rather being aware of their potential impact and making informed choices. Consider incorporating liver-friendly foods into your diet, like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. And remember, regular exercise and hydration go a long way in supporting your liver health. Remember, your liver is vital for your overall health, so treat it well. Until next time, stay healthy and informed.